Anatomy of the deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle is divided into three parts on the basis of its three origins. The anterior part originates from the lateral one-third of the clavicle. The lateral part or the acromial part originates from the acromion of the scapula. The posterior part or the spinal part originates from the spine of the scapula. The anterior part of the deltoid muscle flexes and medially rotates the arm. The lateral part of the deltoid muscle is responsible for abduction of the arm, which raises the arm to the horizontal level. The posterior part of the deltoid muscle extends and laterally rotates the arm. The fibers of the deltoid muscle join together to form a short tendon, which inserts into the deltoid tuberosity, which is located on the lateral aspect of the humeral shaft. The shape and the morphology of the deltoid muscle that extends from anteriorly to posteriorly is encircling the shoulder joint. You can see the bulk of the muscle between the acromion and its insertion into the humerus. The shoulder and the deltoid muscle gets its round appearance due to the deltoid passing over the upper part of the humerus. The upper part of the humerus is called the head of the humerus. The head of the humerus and the shoulder are rounded. The axillary nerve supplies the deltoid muscle and gives sensation over the shoulder area. The axillary nerve arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The axillary nerve is one of the two terminal branches of the posterior cord. The second terminal branch is the radial nerve. The axillary nerve runs transversely from posterior to anterior about 7 cm distal to the acromion. Injury of the axillary nerve will cause weakness of abduction of the arm in addition to atrophy of the deltoid muscle. The shoulder muscle will be flattened rather than rounded. There will be also loss of sensation over the shoulder area. The axillary nerve is commonly injured due to fractures or dislocation of the shoulder joint. The deltoid branch of the thoracoacromial artery arises from the axillary artery and supplies the deltoid muscle anteriorly. The deltoid muscle also gets arterial supply in the posterior aspect from the posterior humeral circumflex artery. The quadrangular space is the space that the posterior circumflex humeral artery and the axillary nerve pass through on the way to the deltoid muscle. Rupture of the deltoid muscle can occur from sports or heavy manual labor. Complete rupture is not common. Rupture of the deltoid muscle can occur from surgery that requires release of the deltoid muscle from its origin, which used to occur from open shoulder surgery. An open procedure of the shoulder may compromise the deltoid attachment to the clavicle and acromion. Be aware of the os acromial and the attachment of the deltoid muscle. Surgery of the os acromial may weaken the deltoid muscle. Total acromionectomy is a bad operation. It compromises the deltoid function. Arthroscopic procedure is better than open shoulder procedure. 
Rupture of the deltoid muscle needs to be repaired or reconstructed. Deltoid muscle, the danger of lateral approach. An incision from the tip of the acromion extended distally. The skin incision and the deltoid is split, and the incision should not be more than 5 cm distal to the acromion to protect the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve runs transversely from posteriorly to anteriorly, about 7 cm distal to the acromion. If the incision needed to be extended distally, as in fixation of the proximal humerus, an additional anterolateral incision over the humeral shaft may be used, as you can see here in this diagram. The deltoid intramuscular injection is a common procedure, especially for vaccination. One must be aware of the proper location for the injection and the proximity of the neurovascular structures present within the involved region. The injection site should be approximately 3 to 5 cm distal to the acromion. The injection site should not exceed 5 cm distal to the acromion because this is the danger zone for injury of the axillary nerve. The injection is done in the middle of the lateral part of the deltoid muscle. Avoid high injection because it may enter the capsule or the joint. Avoid low injection because it may injure the neurovascular structures. The deltoid muscle is called deltoid because it resembles the Greek capital letter delta. The deltoid muscle also resembles the Delta Nile of Egypt. At the top of the delta, you will find the Mediterranean Sea, which resembles the shoulder joint. You do not want to inject there. At the bottom of the delta, you will find the River Nile, which resembles the nerve. You do not want to inject there. You want to inject in the middle of the delta. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.